The tour operator that now owns a company linked to a horrific slaughter of a hundred sled dogs near Whistler says it did not order the animals destroyed. The killings happened last year but have just come to light. About a hundred healthy dogs were killed and dumped into a mass grave after a drop in business after the 2010 Winter Games. The gruesome event is detailed in documents awarding compensation to a worker who claimed post-traumatic stress disorder after having to shoot the dogs. A News reporter Eric Thompson joins us now with the latest on the story. Eric. Hudson, the SPCA calls the dog slaughter one of the worst cases of mass animal cruelty in Canadian history. Those documents from WorkSafe BC outline allegations that howling dog tours shot and killed the dogs last April. The company is now owned by Outdoor Adventures Whistler, but at the time of the call, Howling Dog was an independent contractor. The documents show that when a veterinarian declined to destroy the dogs because they were healthy, their owner felt he had no choice. The dogs were part of a pack of more than 200. The WorkSafe documents say that at one point, the worker had to get into the mass grave to finish off one of the animals. The SPCA calls the killings horrifying and a massacre. The way that this employee describes how he um, killed, I won't use the term euthanize, you know, euthanize implies a humane death. Uh, the descriptions, one in particular, just got me where he describes a, a mass grave and he looks back, he's seen a dog that he thought he, thought he had killed and she's crawling out of the grave. The general manager of cruelty investigations for the SPCA says based on the description in the WorkSafe decision, she's certain it was a criminal code offense. The WorkSafe documents say that the man was attacked at least twice by nearby dogs as the shootings occurred. Outdoor Adventures uh, did not instruct the general manager in the way that has been previously described in the media. It's also important that the public understand that Outdoor Adventures um, understood that there uh, was to be a relocation and the potential euthanization of dogs and the expectation was that that would happen in a proper in a legal and a humane manner the name of the man who killed the dogs has not been released his lawyer told cknw it was the worst experience the man could ever have imagined the lawyer says his client did everything he could to find homes for the dogs tonight there is shock and outrage on the streets of Whistler and across the country. I felt sick to my stomach. I felt really bad for the resort on a whole because I know that they're, you know, they're struggling with their image and that sort of thing. But yeah, f I mean, the dogs, come on. It's, sick. it's not right. We know that's not right in our society. How hard is it to pick up a phone and call SPCA to um, tell them to come get these dogs? It's not hard. Like, the dogs didn't do anything. They don't deserve it. Hudson, more than 800 people have joined a Facebook page boycotting Outdoor Adventures Whistler. Also tonight, Tourism Whistler has suspended reservations for the dog sledding company. And the uh, SPCA is now the lead investigation in this case, a uh, lead investigative agency rather, but they are being supported by Whistler RCMP. All right, Eric Thompson, thank you.